So if you're into audio, video, pictures, eventually you want to share those files. There's multiple ways to do that. I personally used to use a system called Dropbox. It works well. But recently, Google released a system similar to Dropbox. It's called Google Drive. It's pretty awesome. So right here, I have a Drive option now. You click that. It's going to take you to my uh, Google Drive uh, folders. Now, when you apply for yours, you're going to have different stuff there. You're going to create your own folders. You know, I, this is the way I got it set up. I got applications. I got a folder called New Pictures. Uh, I got a video file here, some miscellaneous data there. So... Very easy to share. That's the one thing I used to love about Dropbox. Sharing was simple. And now with uh, the Google Drive, even better. For example, if I want to share this uh, EQ PDF, I check that and I go right here to the share option and this window is going to open here. You have a couple of options. You could uh, secure your link. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you go to change. You have these three options here. Private, which completely secures your data. Then you have anyone with a link. Basically, whoever has the link could view uh, your data or public. Anybody on the web could find it. I prefer to use the private option. So you're going to save. Once you save, you're going to enter the individual's email. So let's say uh, I'm sending it to myself, for example, and then I forward that link to somebody else. If they try to open that link, it's not going to work because the individual needs to be signed in with the particular email address that we put here. So it's pretty cool. You could also send a copy to yourself. Now, when you start this service, they start you off with five gigs. And if five gigs is not enough, you could upgrade. So here's what you want to do. You want to go to right here to upload. Click that. You have buy more storage. You're going to click that. And it's going to show you your current plan. We have free. But let's go and talk about the upgrades. If we look at the upgrade here, you have 25 gigs. Look at the price. $2.49 a month. Plus, they give you uh, 25 gigs for your Google account. So that's pretty nice. Then if that's not enough, you have 100 gigs, which is $4.99 a month. So it's basically the same. And if 100 gigs is not enough, this drop-down window opens here. And you have uh, 200 gigs for $10.00. 400 gigs for $19 and so on. I'm not going to read the rest, but you could come here. You could check it out. Just pick whichever one you like. Right now, I'm stuck on a free, but if in the future I decide to upgrade, I might go with the 100 gigs. Now, I'm not really using this for audio. I used to use a Dropbox for audio, but the client requested, let's stay away from services like that. I'm not going to get into it. What we decided to do, we built a computer. We are running a private FTP server. If you want to know about FTPs, let me know. That's a whole different video. So there you go, guys. That's uh, Google Drive. I wanted to show you guys. A lot of you guys might not know about this, so take advantage of it. You never know if they're going to raise up the prices or what they're going to do. The other thing, you have your Gmail, Drive, Google+, Plus, all in one place. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Post a comment at the bottom, and you see that subscribe button up there? Just click it. Later, guys.